Mission Impossible is a strategy game based on the TV series. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to recover the objects or person taken by enemy agents and hidden in a foreign state building. The program was written by Richard S. Altman and he released this in 1989 as Shareware. It's one of a number of games such as Blackjack, Crazy Eights and Teaser that he wrote in MBASIC for KPRO systems. We'll have a quick look at the, uh, the basic source code uh, just because I think it's quite a feat and therefore it's nice to have a little look at that. So you can see there is um, his copyright message and he mentions how this was shareware and he was hoping for twenty pounds uh, twenty dollars sorry for people who wanted to use it who wanted to register it and as you can see the code is pretty pretty dense with lots of go subs and lots of go to's and multi-line comments in any case that gives you a bit of a flavor of that so we'll uh, skip or we'll come out of that the game is started by running the basic interpreter and giving it the name of the uh, .baz file uh, mission.baz so we'll uh, start mbasic it takes quite a long time to load but that's quite typical of it well first of all of mbasic loading and also the program itself which is quite large right so the game's loaded and we'll have a look at the instructions so we can see how it explains quite well uh, that uh, there are five headquarters, three foreign state buildings, uh, five enemy agents and a lot of terrorists that we have to avoid. So uh, we can go to each one of the headquarters and we can pick up team members or a, a secret code book to help us and then we'll go from location to location mapping out the area and trying to make sure we can complete the, uh, the mission. And then the keys that we have, or at least the choices that we have, uh, are that we can go north, south, east, west. We can get a report to tell us uh, how things are currently going, our current status. And we can discover, which is spying into a neighbouring area to have a look what's there. And then at any time we can load a map to, uh, to see what we've already recorded. So, I'll enter my name. And I go for easy. This tends to scroll straight off the screen if you don't pause it. So I've paused it with Control S. And here we are. We can see uh, the mission that we're being given. And this mission will be pretty much the same each time uh, with a, a, slight ch a few slight changes. Right, we'll let that continue. We can now begin our assignment. So we always start at Mission Control Headquarters, and it's saying that we're starting at uh, 9 8. So those are the uh, X, Y coordinates uh, on the map, and uh, and we have rolling uh, rolling hand as our uh, team member at the moment with 96 hours left to complete the mission. So I'm given the option of remaining at headquarters for another hour. I'm going to say yes because that gives me two further options of being able to get a team member or codebook or uh, receiving a secret report. So I'm going to press F to start with to get a secret report. And that's very useful. So it tells me that there's another headquarters located at 48. And I want to spend another hour there because I want to get another team member. So I'll press A this time. 
And I've now got a secret code book, so that's good. I need two code books to uh, to go into the foreign, uh, the correct foreign embassy or foreign agency. Uh, I'm going to stay for another hour because I want to get some team members. With my first team member, I stay for another hour. Get another team member, and one more. Anyway, if I try to do it, no, I won't do it another one because I'll waste time. But if I did try and said yes, and then another team member, it would say that there are no more team members because we can only take three from each um, from each headquarters. So I'll say no now. And we'll have a look at the map because we were given that bit of information in the report. And we'll see where that shows up and we'll also see where we are on the map. So if you look towards the right hand side uh, near the bottom we'll see it says uh, colon H5. That's where we are at the moment. So that's the headquarters and, um, and, and the colon and the five uh, indicate where we are. So now we can have a look around. So we'll uh, do a D for discover and have a look north. And then a D again and look east. A D and look west. And a D and look south. Okay. So we'll go north, and again we'll do D north, so we're having a look what's there, D east, okay, discover west, right. So to the north is a safe zone again, so we'll go north, and we'll discover East and discover west and discover north. Okay, so we'll go west. So we'll go west and discover north, discover south, discover west. Okay, so we'll go west again. And then again. Discover north, discover south, discover west. Right, okay. So we need to have a look at the map now because it's going to get a bit confusing to keep all that in memory. My memory, not the computer's memory. Okay, so we have terrorists. Um, north and south of us, and an enemy agent to the west. So I'm going to retreat and go back. Um, I'm going to go east, and then south, and then south. And I'm going to see if I can go west towards the headquarters. So first of all, I'll do discover west. OK, so I can go west, it's safe. Then I'll see if I can do discover west again. Terrorist, okay. Discover south. Okay, so I will go south. And then I'll discover west. And now I can't quite remember where we are. So I'll have a look at the map again. Okay, so I'm going to have a look south, and then go south, and then have a look west. Ah, terrorists. Okay, so there's no direct route to the other headquarters from where we are. So I'll we'll have to take a different route. So I'm going to also have a look around what's towards the east here. So discover east is a safe zone, so I'm going to go east. And I'm going to discover north. Okay, and I'm going to have a look at the map again.
so that I don't lose track of where we are. And then I'll discover east. Okay, so there's a terrace there. I'll go north and I'll discover east again and that maps that area. Okay, so now I need to move away from here. So I'm going to go north, north, north. Have another look at the map. It's a bit of a shame the map takes so long to print, but uh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to go east and then discover north. Okay, and I'm going to go north and discover east. Okay, good. I have another look at the map. And then I'm going to uh, discover north. Okay, go north. Discover east to see what's there. And I might map up this area to see what's going on. So I'll discover west. And then go north. I'll discover north. Okay, discover east and discover west. Okay, so I'll have a look at the re report as we haven't seen that yet. So that shows us we have four mission team members and one secret code book. I want to get one more secret code book. So let's have a look at our map again. And I'm going to have to go to the Foreign State Building. It won't let me in there, I don't suppose, but we'll have a look. So we'll go west. But that's okay, because I want to move from there. So we'll discover north and discover west. Right, good. So I'll go west there and have another look at the map. And I'll have a look what's to the north of us. And we'll have a look what's to the west and to the south. Okay, so we'll go west and discover what's to the north of us, discover what's to the west and discover what's to the south. Okay, let's have a look at the map again and see how we're doing. Right, so I want to get to that headquarters building, and I'm getting closer now. I'll have a look. Uh, I'm not sure if I discovered what was to the south. Ah, yes. Enemy agent, okay. And I'll discover what's to the west. Let's go to the west then. And I'll discover what's to the south. And discover what's to the north. And discover what's to the west. Headquarters building, good. We'll go there then. Right, field operations headquarters. So I'll get a secret report. 
Prisoners have been reported at the State Building. Two, three. Okay. Fifteen hours left to complete your mission. This could be a problem. Uh, I want to stay for another hour. I want to get uh, some more team members. So for another hour, another team member, another hour, another team member, and we'll have to get a code book as well. Brilliant. Now, uh, I don't want to stay any further. I want to have a look at a map and see what I can find. So I want to go to a state building. And I know of two. So I know the one at 2-2 two two, and I know the one at 7-3. But I've only got 11 hours, I think it's 11 hours left. Let's have a look at the report. You can see my mission team members, two secret code books, 11 hours. So now I've got a problem. So let's have a look at the map again. So if I go to the uh, the, um, the state building on the left, I'm going to use one hour to move, one to discover, so it'll be two, and then three, four, if I'm going to go to the east again, or west, sorry, west again, and then five, six, to get into the state building which might be fine. Alternatively, if I go the other direction, towards the other state building, then I've got one, two, three, four, five moves. I'm going to go to the state building east, or west, sorry. So we'll discover west is a safe zone, good. Oh. 10 hours left to complete the mission, not so good. So we'll go west and then discover west. This isn't good. Discover north. Okay, we'll go north and then west. I want the foreign embassy. Yes, I do want to enter the foreign embassy. Ah, it's the wrong one. Right. I've finished. I've died, or not completed the mission. It must have been the other, uh, the other state embassy. But that's where you see some of the strategy coming in then, and uh, I used the wrong strategy. But it's important to be able to count and work out how many hours you have to work out uh, whether you can get to where you want to get to within the time that you have. It's an interesting strategy game, and I quite like the fact that it includes the, the mapping uh, the display of the map in the actual game so that you don't have to rely on creating a map um, uh, in paper. So that just makes everything much easier and much neater. Well I hope you enjoyed seeing Mission Impossible. Uh, there's an accompanying article on the Tech Tinkering website and do subscribe to the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel. Uh, there are also other CPM and CPM game videos and articles on either the uh, YouTube Tech Tinkering channel or the Tech Tinkering website.